Hey, I'm Danielle Byard Jackson, a certified friendship coach. Yes, it is a thing. And when it comes to the joys, complexities, and misunderstandings around female friendship, I am here to help you through it. How to make a new friend in 90 seconds or less. I'm gonna give you six hacks that you can incorporate into your first meeting with someone, whether it's in person or virtually, things that you can use that have somebody walking away from the conversation thinking, I think I like her. The first thing that you can do in your first interaction with somebody is to simply be quiet. Yes, just be quiet. Let those spaces of silence kind of hang for a bit. Now, I know sometimes when we're nervous or we're anxious, we tend to get excited and we talk a lot. A lot of us are uncomfortable with silences in the first place. The thing is, if after asking somebody a question, you let them respond and then you wait when they're done, they'll likely fill it with more information about themselves. And research tells us that the number one topic that people like to talk about is themselves. So why not let her? You'll have her in a position to where she's leaving the conversation thinking, I don't know what it is about her, but I like her style. It's simply because you let her talk about herself. The second hack is to avoid natural countering. So what this means is sometimes when we have a person who tells us, oh, I'm a Florida Gator. I went to the University of Florida. We'll say something like, ugh, gross, I'm a Seminole. And even though we're trying to engage in banter and we're trying to connect in that way, it still offers a space of resistance. It's still a pushback. I'm still highlighting the ways in which we're different instead of adding on to what she's saying. So instead of her saying, you know, I'm a Florida Gator and I say, ugh, gross, we're rivals. Instead I say, oh, did you like going to a big school? I loved going to a big school. What kind of groups were you in? What kind of clubs were you in? So even though it might feel natural to speak on the ways you're different, it's not helpful. So find ways to listen, identify similarities, and build on those. So for the next hack, we're taking a cue from Destiny's Child because you're going to say her name, say her name. A study from 2006 found that hearing or using your own name is qualified as self-representational behavior. And remember what we said earlier about allowing people to talk about themselves. It happens to be our favorite subject. And so if that's the case, and we know that there's lots of brain activity that goes off when we hear or use our own name, why not leverage that? So if she introduces herself right away and says, hey, I'm Keisha, then you would say, Keisha, Keisha, okay, nice to meet you. And if you ask her a question, okay, wait a second, Keisha, where did you say that you're from? And just naturally, occasionally sprinkling it within your conversation. Again, it helps her to associate her positive feelings during that conversation with you. The next hack is to use that conversation for intel. So this can't necessarily transpire all within the first 90 seconds, but you can use the information that you're getting from the other person within the first two minutes of conversation. So if as you guys are talking, she mentions her love for a new Netflix show, then a week later, when you watch said show, you text her or DM her simply to say, oh my gosh, I watched that show you talked about. You're right, it's hilarious. What this does is it offers momentum in the friendship and it keeps things going. We all too often have a really great first encounter with somebody and then we never follow up. And we wonder, are they gonna reach out to me and how soon's too soon? But the goal is to keep things going. And it's easier to do that if you're leveraging intel and information that you received from the first conversation. The next hack is gonna put you in a position that makes you a little vulnerable, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Ask for help. Now, you don't wanna ask for something really major, like you're moving this weekend. You just met this stranger and you're like, can you help me move some boxes? That wouldn't be appropriate. But what I do mean is something small like this. Let's say you and a roommate are new to town and you're trying to figure out different hot spots to go to and how to get involved. Simply asking the other person for a recommendation puts them in a position to help and everybody likes to feel helpful. The key to this hack, however, is you have to ask for something that's actually manageable, something that's not intrusive and that they can actually do. So asking for tips, recommendations, guidance for small things is effective because at the end of the day, everyone wants to feel helpful. The last tip I actually got from Vanessa Van Edwards, who's the lead investigator at Science of People. She suggests that we end conversations by saying, you know what, I really like you. Here's why that matters. Research tells us that we tend to underestimate how much new people like us. So we'll walk away thinking we totally bombed a conversation and meanwhile, they really like us more than we thought. And so in order to counter that insecurity, to confirm, yes, you did well, you're engaging, you're interesting, 
you tell them so out loud. It also kind of eases the wondering that we sometimes walk away with. Admit it, when you walk away and you're thinking, did she like me? Was she as into me as I was to her? We all think it. And so this offers confirmation that yes, you were liked, you're interesting, and I'd like to do more of this. So simply ending the conversation with that affirmation can work wonders. So again, even though it does take time, and work and intention to create something deep and meaningful. There are things that you can do within that first interaction that lays the foundation for a solid friendship in the future. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. If you're looking for more support on your journey toward better female friendships, then you should consider becoming a Friend Forward member, a space where we have virtual events, coaching exercises, and an opportunity to connect with women just like you.